sent one of those that I started last night. I'm trying to remember. Uh, it's one of the things about not planning everything. Mm -hmm. That's Andrews' quest. Repentance? Now that's Sebastian's. Nighttime. Prime suspect. Might be prime suspect is what I'm looking at. I know what we're doing. We are going to go and do go all the way up here. The long road. Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day. It's different here as captain. Feels like family. You're back. Of course you are. You're efficient. Get things done, good or ill. So, how did Donic react? To your garbage, you mean? I thought it was clear. Metal is strong, copper ages well, flowers are soft. I've clearly gone about this the wrong way. Don't talk to him again. Just take this, the patrols, for next week. Post it to the roster and just... listen. Really? Just walk over there and post the roster? I want his honest reaction without the captain present. You could just have him hauled off. This isn't about an accusation I can put in a report and explain. I need someone unofficial. All right, but I'm starting to think you just like having me around. I need to know exactly how he reacts. That's key. Thank you. <sighs> Too many hits to the head. Or well, not enough. Hey, Donick! Whose pucker have you been greasing to get high town? What? You're daft. I'm working dockside on those smugglers. Says here you're guarding the square. Always been a make-work job, that one. You someone's pet? Check your eyes. It's a mistake. Says the pet. You have got to be kidding me. What did I do to get that post? I don't know why anyone would embarrass me with a patrol like this. Donick thinks I'm punishing him. But Hightown is a safe patrol, a reward. You wanted his reaction. All right. I can fix this. I need... I need three goats and a sheaf of wheat. You'll take them to his mother. It's a dowry tradition. Maybe it will smooth the process. Hold a moment. You're sweet on the boy. So help me, whore. I will break you. 
Oh, this is glorious. All this flailing is her idea of courtship. How exactly did you think this mess would work? I don't know what I thought. I've been focused on being captain for so long, that's all I know. I'm confused. Wasn't Lady Manhans married already? That was a long time ago. It was easier, or seemed. I can't imagine you having trouble speaking your mind. It's just fear. I know it's foolish, but I can't get away from it. What about you and Isabella? I know she doesn't have two thoughts to rub together, but the danger of your lives must worry you. Maybe we're not the best example. But you understand. I feel paralyzed. I hate it. Sounds like you're ready to move on. It's been four years since Wesley. Stop trying to protect me. That's right. She's made her peace. Now let her get one. What makes Donick so special? When someone closer to you might be interested. Nothing. Not a thing. Not rich, not the most skilled. I dare say he's not even the best looking. But he's... something. He's not like the others. Strong lips. Has to be. So you've been by yourself since we came to Kirkwall? Wait, you've gone four years without. You must creak like a rusty hinge. Many people have their lives because of me. But poor you. No life of your own. We both place others above ourselves. I happen to do it clothed. You're splitting hairs, but wishing someone would split yours. I've had enough of your loose lips. Like many, I'm sure. Oh, touché. Prig. Slattern! If I might put this back on track... I can drag him in here right now. Just say the word. Oh, and how would that look? The captain ordering her guardsmen to... to... it wouldn't help. So go out. Get him drunk. Shame is a great equalizer. What? Just go out somewhere? Like it's that easy? I know I wouldn't turn you down. Tell Donick. Invite him to the hanged man. Don't tell him about me. Make something up. It's a surprise, or just you, or a group, anything to get him there. He's not like the others. I don't want him to think he's meeting the captain. Guardsman Donick! How are you? Good, I suppose. Doesn't matter. Free for an evening. I have no immediate patrols. Why? A night at the Hanged Man for all the guard. You'll come? Of course you'll come. Should I have heard of this? Very well, Sir Arhawk. I guess I'll be there. Never good to be the last to hear of these things. Hello, Hawk. Another time? I'm a little busy. Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day.
I... You go first. I'll be right there. Just don't tell them this is about me. There were supposed to be others coming, right? Plans change, apparently. Right. Look, <laughs> I should really, um... What? No. Sit. Drink. Uh, another round? Make a yes. is great look if this was all an attempt to get closer to me through the captain um, you're just not my type all this playing shy business I like a little backbone I have to go thanks for the drinks I I couldn't do it what did he say he thinks I'm interested in him. I'm an idiot. Admitting it is a good step. Where are you heading next? The barracks, Ferelden, the deepest hole I can find. You've never been the hiding type. I know, all right, but I freeze up. The only place I'm not a mess is on patrol. And killing high women doesn't afford much opportunity for banter. Here come the excuses. I will not risk. That's the problem. Risk, or so help me, I will bed the man myself. Then I'll clear the way and you'll talk to Donick. Putting you in danger just makes it worse. You made it my problem. I'm fixing it. Very well, Hawk. You pushed. You clear the route up the wounded coast and I... We'll live to regret this, I'm sure. Are you serious? So this route's pretty quiet? Yes, and it's a real nice night for an evening. Um, <laughs> as you say, Captain. <laughs> yes, as I say.
Maker, she's bad at this. If it isn't done right, the blade can be too soft. Quenching the steel is a vital step that can make or break a sword. Right. A blade for every purpose. What do you think about blades? I'm sorry, Captain. I drifted off a bit. Right, of course. Ugh, painful. Good patrol. I think we're done, and I... Hawk, what a surprise. What are you doing here? Aveline? Hawk, don't. We don't have all night, you know. Would someone please tell me what's going on? You're a daft couple of... Oh, take a hint and bend her over a basin, will you? Captain? Uh... I should get back to the barracks. I thought we were friends. Friends sometimes push. I... I have to fix this. You'll file a complaint. Ask for a transfer. You. You're coming to the barracks to explain why you put him on the spot. Double time, Hawk. Or so help me.
How much longer do I have to wait? Maker. Where is Donick? I have to... head this off before it goes to the Viscount. Maybe a formal apology. Something that shows the guards they can still trust me. Try the Copper Marigolds again. In hindsight, they weren't the worst option. It's not funny! I beg to differ. You'll beg for more than that if you keep this up. <clears throat> My apologies, Sir Ahawk. But I need a moment with the Captain. Guardsman Donick. Please. Guardsman Donick did not file a complaint. This was all incredibly stupid, and you made it wonderful. You finally mastered the obvious. I'll take your word on the second part. You'll get the chance. I was mute, and now I want to sing. Please don't. I just... There's no way I can ever repay you. Perhaps it's simple. Thank you. Hey, can I ask you something? Was there a moment when you thought I was beyond help? Don't ruin the moment. It was hard work getting here. All right, fair enough. Shout when you need me, Hawk. I'll always be here for you. Just knock first. It's a fine suit. The finest. Break it down. Distribute it. The Viscount requires parade armor for his inspections. Then stuff it and mount it where he can see it. I wear the uniform of the guard. His Excellency will not be pleased. His Excellency can mount it. Trouble Hawk? You say that like you expect it. You don't know the half of it. And why don't you, by the way? Why aren't you tail-deep in the problems of this city? Sure, you do good. But petition a title. Take a job. The guard is always looking. Don't blame me for not being you. I'd make a poor guard. Well, we agree on that. I don't really see you taking my orders. Besides... You won't catch me saying you don't have an effect. You've certainly had one on Hightown. But... Maybe it's time to get serious. Before the option isn't your own. You don't want me as sour and dour as you. You need a counterpoint. I don't think I've asked to be made the butt of your jokes. Donick. Okay, sometimes I have asked for it. I do wish there was more time for levity. It comes so easy to you. Maybe a little too easy. That's all I'm saying. Nothing going on, Hawk. You'd be the first to know if there was. Donick beds the captain and he gets tougher patrols. Boy should climb a little hill now and then. Mind if I try my hand at that? That was a fun little quest.
Good luck getting in. Nice, we got her to max, it looks like. Yeah, all right. Worked out better than I thought. Let us go and do repentance. We should move on. strange. The door's wide open, and not a single guard posted. This is not the Lady Harriman I remember. There is something very wrong in here. of a bitch what's taking so long flora why does no one in this house care what i want more wine or i swear i will drown you in the dregs that sounds familiar i don't envy anyone in this household tomorrow morning she doesn't even see us this is no normal wine
More logs. It must be molten. You, more coins. I want every scrap of gold in this house. Please, Monsieur. There's nothing to fear. You'll be beautiful. Pour it over her. Don't. You'll kill her. He can't hear me. Perhaps I should be the one. We must end this madness. I've visited this house often as a child. They could not have concealed such goings on. I beg your pardon, Hawk. I did not mean to expose you to such things. No. The feather. Use the feather. Where have you been all my life? Today, I am more than a man. Come, felicitate me. He has no idea we're here. I've known Ruxton Hariman my whole life. He's a complete prude. Midlife crisis? Where's your brother? Let's ask him to join us. You know what they say about a man with big hands. I have the manacles right here. You know, I might be able to give you a hand with that. Now, you be the his prize, and I'll be the Templar torture. You know what they say about a man with big hands. There is nothing here for you. Odd. When we watched you being a drunken ass, you ignored us completely. 
You shall not enter. Empresses. We must see what greater evil. Ah! A ruin so close to high time. I remember no such thing. In the shadows! <laughs>
suppose I could give that a shot. Mind if I try my hand at that? Must give me more. Starkhaven will not submit. I put that idiot Goran Vale into the Prince's Sea, but the other families won't heed him. I must marry him to Flora and solidify our hold. But I need more power. I've given you much. Your desires run deep. You've already traded your husband and your children. What more can you offer? At the Blooming Rose, 50 silver's standard for a hall. You'll hardly find my services standard. Who is this? Who are you? How did you get here? Sebastian! You were my mother's friend. How could you murder her? Such an ugly word. I prefer... Remove the only obstacle between her and her dreams. This was your idea. I could create such desires if I wished. But it's far easier to nurture those that already exist. The desire for power is easy to find. You and your friend both possess it, do you not? You both wish to rise. I will hear no more from you. I think I'll stick with what I currently have.
Let us return to the church. Sebastian! I am so, so... Sorry is such an inadequate word. When I think what Mother made us do... What those creatures made us do... We were friends, Flora. It was like a cloud came down on me. All I could feel or think was what the demon allowed. Did your mother order the attack on Sebastian's family? She did. You... You know mother, Sebastian. She was always jealous of your parents. The demon twisted that until it was all she could think of. She was determined to seize Starkhaven for herself. Was your mother a mage? How did she find this demon? We've never had magic in our line. Perhaps that made Mother too confident. She thought she could deal with the demon and not fall prey to it. Those ruins there were unearthed when we expanded the house. Mother found the demon inside. I think she had signed her bargain before we even knew. So you get all the debauchery and none of the blame? Do not suggest I did this by choice. It's a demon of desire, Flora, not coercion. It can't tempt you with anything you truly don't want. If it takes every last coin my family owns, I will make reparations to everyone we've wronged. Starting with you, Sebastian. We weren't the only ones vying for Starkhaven. If you face more opposition, you have my support. It will not make up for what happened. No, that's true. I'll tell you when I need you. Really, Sebastian? Well, since we're here, let us go and take care of... No, let's go and finish up that proper... Good, carry on. So, choir boy, this usurper of yours is, uh, 20 feet tall? Not even close, no. But he has claws for hands, right? me Sarah Hawk it is good to see you the shame that Varnell brought his order is most unfortunate the shame he brought praise the maker that you were his champion in that dark place look we're both adults here can we drop the pretense I think you'll find that I have said nothing threatening or untruthful. You in your careful language. I gave you what you wanted at considerable cost. Vonal is more manageable as a martyr, but his loss will be felt. You have avenged heretical Kunari with human blood. Surely that is good enough for you. It might be if you were going to give this up. But you're not. Varnell was a fool. But the facts remain. An offense to the Maker goes unchallenged. I will give you no further cause to shame the Chantry today, but we will have this argument again. The Viscount's incompetence all but guarantees it. Sometimes, you just know trouble is coming. 
I had hoped prayer might cleanse me of the desire demons touch. But I still hear her voice so clearly. I feel like I've bathed in filth that will never come off. Wash behind the ears. Evil usually gets stuck there. The demon didn't lie. I used to be bitterly jealous of my brother. I wanted to be Prince. Now everything he had is mine. And he lies in ashes. I keep asking myself, do I want this because it's right? Or simply to have what I never thought I could? Aren't you your parents' heir? I'm the youngest son of three. My parents were... rather traditional. They wanted the heir and the spare, and I was left in the cold. They put me in the Chantry to prevent my competing with my brothers. You seem very dedicated to the Chantry. You were put there against your will? At first. But it was the best thing that could have happened. I was a wild boy, a shame to my family. The Chantry made me a man. It's odd. When I wanted to rule, I would have been terrible at it. Now that I might be decent, I don't know if it's the right thing to do. It's the wisdom not to want power that lets you use it wisely. You didn't feel what that demon stirred in me. It cannot be right to lead any army to Starkhaven with such doubt in my heart. I owe you more than I can say, Hawk. I will offer my service to you here before I move on. I can think of a few services for you to perform. What? Why are you smiling like... Oh. Oh my. <laughs> that, that, that's not what I meant. I, uh, I think I need to pray. A lot. Is something troubling you? Goodbye. Walk. I think this is yours. My grandfather's bow, but where did you get it? One of the Flint Company men did some looting. I figured I'd return the favor. Thank you. It's hard to mourn the loss of a thing while my family lies dead. But I did think of it. What's the story behind that bow? As the youngest son, it was my place to lead Starkhaven's militia. But I never had a talent for swordplay. Too much getting hit. My grandfather said the bow is the wise man's weapon. You can defend your city without opening its gates. Grandfather said the day I could pull the string on his bow, it would be mine. Then why didn't you have it with you? I was 13 when my grandfather made me that promise. I would rise at dawn to practice my shots until I could hit the isolate of a helmet from the top of the ramparts. But my parents pledged me to the Chantry before I could show him. Were you and your grandfather close? He was a man of the world, Prince of Starkhaven. But he had the most unshakable faith in the Maker. When my parents threatened to pledge me to the Chantry, he told me he'd gladly trade his title for a life of contemplation. The Maker ordained a place for each of us, I remember him saying. We have only to serve. You can't shoot your family at a charging bandit and stop him dead between the eyes. Do you hold nothing sacred, Hawk? Still, I'll stop dwelling on what can't be fixed and appreciate this gift you found for me. I look forward to testing it. I think Grandfather is smiling now, seeing me holding his bow. It's been very exciting.
Bartrand really hasn't done much with this place, has he? I don't get it. My sources saw people making deliveries here just a week ago. This... looks like it's been empty for months. You think he put the cobwebs up to discourage tax collectors? Well, you're thinking it's a trap. <laughs> Great. It's been ages since my brother tried to kill me. So that's how you greet your brother, is it, Bartrand? Fine. Say hello, Bianca. Where's the fight? Bianca's starting to get bored! Just get you! Give me my brother. I was just jealous of you. How could I ever compete with you for mother's love? You're strong and handsome, and so very smart. <laughs> what? Why lie now about this? What have you to gain? What do you want from me? I broke in, I found my brother, and it was awkward. Family business. No. I think there's more to it. <sighs> Fine. You want the gory details? I'll give you the gory details. These corpses aren't even stiff yet, Hawk. <laughs>
lead the way. with you. Bartrand, what have you done? I love that. What are they trying to do? Ruin my boots. We're good to go. Ancestors. Hold up. I know this man. He's Bartrand Stewart. Hugin, what happened here? Eric, your brother. That statue he brought out of the deep roads. Bartrand said it sang to him even after he sold it. I've been hiding in here, but the guards, they're like crazed animals. I didn't dare go past them. Everyone in this house has gone mad. What did he do to the guard to turn them to this? He's been forcing them to eat lyrium. Some of the servants, he... cut pieces off them while they were still alive. He says he's trying to help them hear the song. Please stop him. Bartrand's not exactly a nice guy, but... this doesn't sound like my brother. You said he sold the statue. To who? I don't know. It's why we came back to Kirkwall. He was already starting to rant about the sodding idol and his singing. On his better days, he hated the thing, wanted to get rid of it. But the minute it was gone, he got worse. I haven't seen anyone alive in here except for guards. What happened to the rest of the staff? I don't know what Bartrand did to them. By the ancestors, the sounds coming from his study. They're dead by now. I hope. What do you mean you hope they're dead? Just whoever... whatever you find in that room. Varric, give them a merciful death. I assume you mean he's crazy, not just very upset. He's hearing things, seeing things, talking to someone who's not there. That's when he's feeling good. Bartrand took the servants and locked himself inside the study. No one's come out for days. And those sodding lunatics just keep prowling the halls. Then we go in after him. Come on, Hawk. Let's finish this.
shouldn't have sold the idol of that woman. It was a mistake! A mistake? Parchment, get a hold of yourself. Do you know where you are? Do you know what you've done? Berg! You'll help me, won't you, little brother? Help me find it again. You were always a good one. Help you? Bartrand. you left me to die. You left all your men to die. And for what? Some trinket? Look at yourself. Look at what you've done to the men and women who served you. Where's your nobility, brother? Where's your dwarven honor? He doesn't look so good. I'm not sure he even knows we're here. I didn't come here just to leave without telling my brother he's a filthy nublicker and demanding some answers. Why'd you do it, Bartrand? Were you already crazy before we even went into the Deep Roads? Or was it all the statue? I don't... Not a statue. It wants to be worshipped. It wants me. It wants me back. She stole it from me. For this. Who did you sell the idol to, Bartrand? She glittered like the sun, but her heart was ice. She will not feed it, not like I did. So good to know we can count on you for the clear answers. For three years, all I've wanted is to look him in the eye and get his answers. Why he abandoned us in that taig. What any of this was for. I guess there's nothing he could say that would make it right. Let's finish what we came here for, Varric. Right. Still going to feel good pulling that trigger. Something on your mind, Varric. I should thank you for your help with my brother. He was a jackass, and he tried to kill us, but... ...that was still the hardest thing I've ever done. He was never what you'd call nice... ...or pleasant... ...or hygienic. But he was my only brother. Look at it this way. You didn't really lose a brother, you gained control of the family businesses. Sure. I've always wanted to waste my life arguing with the Merchant Guild. <laughs> That's probably what drove Bartrand crazy in the first place. I don't know if surface dwarves go back to the stone, or hang around singing hymns with Andraste, or what. I just hope wherever he is now, Bartrand stays out of trouble. Any idea what really went on with him and that statue? Well, the thing must be cursed. I don't know if it's magic, or demons, or the bile of the ancestors, but I think Curse about covers it. If we're lucky, whoever he sold it to had the damn thing melted down for scrap. You think he'll badmouth us to the Maker? 
Haunt our houses. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past him. He always was the vindictive type. Anyway, thank you. I'll keep looking into who bought that blighted statue. At the very least, they need to be warned about what happened. to a great deal of trouble for something. I don't think the guards raiding the estate met that particular reception. Mother... Trees is overstepping her bounds. escaped mages from Starkhaven. from Kirkwall's Iron Lady? That must have been a first. Why is he keeping these things around? I thought Gascard lived alone. Perhaps these belong to a family member. Help me! Please! He's gone mad! You're not... You're not him. Shit, I... I know what this looks like, but I didn't hurt her. So the wild-eyed hysteria is just for show, then? You don't understand. Someone is after her. I had to keep her safe. I don't know why you're here, but there's a killer out there, and I think he's playing us both. Just... just let me explain. All right. We'll see if you can talk yourself out of this. Twenty silver if he says, it wasn't me, it was the one-armed man. Several years ago, my sister was murdered. The bastard's now in Kirkwall, killing again. The same way he killed my sister. It starts with a bouquet of white lilies. He sends them to each new victim. Alessa was going to be next. I took her, so he'd have to come to me. I was finally going to face my sister's killer, but then you showed up. He's lying! He hurt me! I've explained this. I need your blood to track you down. If he took you, it was for your protection. Let go of me! <sighs> She'll go straight to the city guard. They'll ruin everything. 
I could report you to the Templars for blood magic. Yes, I've used blood magic and lyrium to augment my powers. I'm not proud of what I've done, but I had to. He took my sister from me. Can't you just tell the city guard what you told me? Yes, can't you? Why? I don't want him arrested. This isn't about justice. I need to be the one to bleed him dry. Selfish little shit. How many of you risked by keeping this to yourself? Emmerich was certain you were the killer. Of course he was. But I was trying to find the killer just like him. Our paths crossed and he just assumed I was the murderer. You really did make yourself a target, though. Kidnapping people and all. I suppose that's fair. Who killed your sister? A powerful and experienced blood mage. I believe he uses the women for some ritual. His victims are attractive, healthy women with few social ties. Nice story, but I don't buy it. No. I've worked too hard. It can't end like this. Want me to take a look at that? Piece of cake.
You've had luck on your travels? If you need me for anything, by all means, let me know. You have got to hear this, Hawk. There's this tale making the rounds. They're saying you single-handedly fought off a pirate invasion at midnight on the sacred ground of the Chantry. Don't the stories mention my stunning good looks? What about my cunning wit? Nope. They skip straight to the part about the lovable dwarf with the gorgeous crossbow and the heart of gold. I try to steer them straight, but you know how stories go. Just... Don't be surprised if people seem in awe. What compels you to spin these ridiculous tales? I love the sound of my own voice. And I'm a compulsive liar. Honestly, I don't know. It's just something I do. There's power in stories, though. That's all history is. The best tales, the ones that last. Might as well be mine. I find it hard to believe you're spreading these stories without getting something in return. Well, that just shows what you know, Hawk. The stories are their own reward. You really need to see the look on someone's face when I tell them you ripped the arms off an ogre. <laughs> just once. Wouldn't it make more sense for you to be the main character in these tall tales of yours? There's a recipe to a good hero, Hawk. It's like alchemy. 
One part down to earth, one part selfless nobility, two parts crazy, and you season liberally with wild falsehoods. You let that percolate through a good audience for a while, and when it's done, you've got your hero. I guess all works. A little reverence wouldn't hurt, though. You're beautiful, deadly, and hang out with fantastic dwarves. It would be a crime if people didn't talk about you. Anyway, I'll quit exaggerating before it goes to your head. This is the best tavern in Kirkwall. It could use some cute dwarven serving girls, but otherwise, it's perfect. Hunters. Stop right there! You are in possession of stolen property! Back away from the slave now and you'll be spared! Fenris is a free man! I won't repeat myself! Back away from the slave now! I am not your slave! I don't know. I don't know, I swear. Adriana brought us. She's at the holding caves north of the city. I can show you the way. No need. I know which ones you speak of. Then let me go. I beg you. I swear You chose I won't... the wrong master. Ah! Adriana. I was a fool to think I was free. They'll never let me be.
This is someone you know. My old master's apprentice. I remember her well. A sniveling social climber that would sell her own children if she thought it would please Denarius. If she's here, it's at his bidding. We knew he wouldn't let this go. Then why are we standing around? The holding caves held slaves in the old times, but apparently they are no longer abandoned. We must go quickly, before Hadriana has a chance to prepare, or flee. Nice work. We must be careful. There were many such holdings once, especially in the mountains where individual slavers kept private pens. They were designed to protect against raids by fellow slavers. No doubt it's why Hadriana chose this place. Do slavers attack each other often? They did. What better way to find slaves than to steal them? The holdings outside of Tevinter have mostly been abandoned, but they still exist. Adriana won't escape us. Let's hope this isn't a waste of time. They're still here. Good. See for 
yourself. The legacy of the Magisters. They kill the slaves for their blood. In a society where mages rule, they find many ways to justify their need for power. <laughs> Touch you? They've been killing everyone. They cut Papa, bled him. Why? Why would they do this? The Magister. She said she needed power, that someone was coming to kill her. We tried to be good. We did everything we were told. She loved Papa's soup. I don't understand. Is the Magister still here? I think so. The Magister said they were to prepare for battle. I think she's very frightened. She has every reason to be. Please don't hurt her. She'll be so angry if you hurt her. You're just a slave to them. Property to be used. Everything was fine until today. It wasn't. You just didn't know any better. Are you my master now? No. But I can cook. I can clean. What else will I do? If you go to Kirkwall, I can help you. Yes? Oh, praise the Maker. Thank you. I didn't realize you were in the market for a slave. I gave her a job, Fenris. Ah, then... That's good. My apologies. Let's find Hadriana and be done with this place.
do not want me dead! There is only one person I want dead more. I have information, Elf. And I will trade it in return for my life. Ha! <laughs> the location of Daenerys. What good will that do me? I'd rather he lose his pet pupil. You have a sister. She is alive. You wish to reclaim your life? Let me go, and I will tell you where she is. This is your call. So I have your word. I tell you, and you let me go. Yes, you have my word. Her name is Verania. She is in Carinus, serving a magister by the name of Eremon. A servant, not a slave. She's not a slave. I believe you. We are done here. Do you want to talk about it? No, I don't want to talk about it. This could be a trap. Daenerys could have sent Hadriana here to tell me about this sister. Even if he didn't, trying to find her would still be suicide. Daenerys has to know about her and has to know that Hadriana knows. But all that matters is I finally got to crush this bitch's heart. May she rot, and all the other mages with her. This doesn't mean we shouldn't look for your sister. And who's going to look for her? You? Even if I found my sister, who knows what the Magisters have done to her? What has magic touched that it doesn't spoil? I... need to go. I've been thinking about what happened with Hadriana. You and I don't always see eye to eye, but that doesn't mean you deserved my anger. I owe you an apology. There's no need to apologize. You are generous. When I was still a slave, Hadriana was a torment. She would ridicule me, deny my meals, pound my sleep, because of her status, I was powerless to respond, and she knew it. The thought of her slipping out of my grasp now. I couldn't let her go. I wanted to, but I couldn't. You clearly weren't thinking about finding your family when you did it. And what would you have me do? Hadriana came after me! I have never had the option to simply walk away. Am I supposed to forgive, no matter how many times they hunt me down? Am I supposed to forget all the things they've done to me? If you're wondering why you can't move on, this is it. Yes, this is it. Why can I not grasp something so simple? It's a sickness, this hate. This dark growth inside me that I can't ever get rid of. And they put it there. Ugh, this isn't why I came here. Stop being so bloody stubborn. Easier said than done. There's an elven woman here, sir. She claims she was sent here by you. I, uh, I didn't know where to tell her. I'm certain you'll find everything's in order. <sighs> An elven <coughs> slave? Makers. Greetings, mistress. 
Your home was difficult to find. I've never been out on my own before, but I found it. Many people know of you. I hope I've made myself useful. I've already begun cleaning and I can cook. Not as good as Papa, but a little. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? If you're staying here, Orana, it will be as my servant. You mean, I won't be a slave anymore? You'll be paid, like anyone else. I... a slave is all I've ever been, like Papa and Grandpapa before me. I'll try to be a good servant. Thank you, Mistress. You're too good to me. I hope all is well, Mistress. Hawk. Have you noticed how many Tranquil are in the Gallows Courtyard lately? And don't tell me I'm just sensitive to it. I've been watching, and every day there are new Tranquil, selling their bloody wares. Good mages too. People I know pass their harrowing. Are you imagining some sinister plot to turn all the mages in Kirkwall Tranquil? I'm not imagining it. The Templars are using the right of tranquility to silence those who speak against them. They're working on a deliberate plan to turn every mage in Kirkwall within the next three years. And here I was, worried you were having delusions of persecution again. There are groups in Kirkwall who help those fleeing the Circle. I've talked to people on the inside. The plan is the work of a Templar named Sir Ulrich. I've had a run-in with him myself. He's the one who did the ritual on Karl. Nasty piece of work. Likes to make mages beg. What happened between you and Sir Ulrich? I've been involved with an... underground resistance. Mages living free in Kirkwall who help others escape. I can't tell you any more, for your sake and theirs. You have too much involvement with the guard and nobility. Suffice it to say, I've been in the gallows. I've seen his work firsthand. What else do you know about Sir Ulrich? The Knight Commander is at least sincere in her convictions. However misguided, she believes she's helping people. Sir Ulrich's a sadist. Cold-blooded as a lizard. He likes to experiment on mages. Find out what it takes to push them into the arms of demons. Don't Templars have anything better to do than come up with new ways to torment mages? No. My friends in the Mage Underground know a way inside. A secret entrance under the walls of the gallows. Come with me tonight, please. Help me find the evidence of Sir Ulrich's tranquil solution. What do you mean, tranquil solution? That's what he calls it. His idea of a peaceful solution to the Mage problem. To sunder the mind of every mage in the free marches. 
I'm told he's bringing his proposal to Val Royo, to the Divine herself. He would turn every mage in Thedas into a drooling simpleton under his command. I'll be there. Though this Sir Ulrich would be a fool to keep such a plan in writing. Then let us pray he's a fool as well as a bastard. I'm ready to go when you are. Our entrance is concealed not far from here. This is it. This tunnel will take us into the gallows. Are you ready to help me find evidence of the tranquil solution? Let's go. If we find evidence of Sir Auric's plan, I'm taking it straight to the Grand Cleric. She will not be able to claim neutrality then. smugglers built these tunnels to service the Templars who crave the stuff. Let's <laughs> go. 
I think Bianca's gotten scratched. gotten scratched. wrong that's a lie what do we do to mages who lie I just wanted to see my mom no one ever told her where they were taking me no no this is their place we cannot so you admit your attempted escape you know what happens to mage girls who don't toe the line around here don't you please no don't make me tranquil. I'll do anything. That's right. Once you're tranquil, you'll do anything I ask. The Chantry frowns on Templars who take personal advantage of their charges. Who's this? It's the Divine. Come all the way from Orlais to tell you personally what a jackass you are. You fiends will never touch a mage again. Gone. 
You can stop glowing. Every one of them will feel justice is burned. Get away from me, demon! I am no demon. Are you one of them? That you would call me such? Anders, that girl is a mage. We rescued her from being made tranquil. She is theirs. I can feel their hold on her. She's the reason you're fighting, Anders. Don't turn on her now. Please, Messer. Baker, no. I almost... If you weren't here, I... I need to get out of here. shot. Saved my life, Monsieur. What was that thing? Don't worry. It was all a trick by the Circle to scare you away from ever summoning demons. I... I wouldn't. I never... It was a joke. Can I go home now? Find your parents, but don't stay there. You must leave Kirkwall. I know. There's nowhere in the city where Sir Ulrich's men won't find me. Thank you, Messer. Andraste herself must have put you in that room. Trash, trash, keep, trash, trash. Won't be needing that anymore. This is all Sir Ulrich had. Looks like the tranquil solution began and ended with him. Let me see that. The Divine rejected the idea. Meredith rejected the idea. This was not what I expected. Perhaps I should try talking to the Grand Cleric. Maybe she's more reasonable than I thought. Thank you. I will think on what you've said. What are you doing? Putting out milk. I miss having a cat around. But I think the refugees have scared them all off. Or maybe eaten them. You know, I've been meaning to thank you. Having someone like you making a name for yourself in Kirkwall. It's done a lot for mages. You're the kind of leader we need. To tell the world we won't be punished any longer for our maker-given gifts. Who said anything about me leading? I was going to watch. With snacks. Mages in this city look up to you. They want what you have. Just knowing you exist is enough to light the fire. Why does this matter so much to you? 
Why do you think your parents gave up everything to keep you and your sister out of the circle? In the circle, they tell you day and night that magic is sin. A mark on your soul of the Maker's hatred. But for all the talk of demons, the most common death I saw for a mage was suicide. Why do none of my friends ever just want to be the best wallet player in Lowtown? <laughs> with the great hawk deign to associate with the best wallet player in Lowtown. Seriously, though, I couldn't do this without your support. I couldn't hold on to this spirit of vengeance inside me. But I know you won't let me lose myself to him. Tried to avoid the fate since justice. It's disturbing when he takes over. Where else can I go? It's been years since we arrived. So you're two people. into my hands. I recognize it. An old, foolish thing to need. Thank you for saving me the trip.
Oh, cheer up, Blondie. You're making me cry just looking at you. Don't. You made a mistake. It happened. Aren't you Hawk? Emmerich left not long ago. He said you'd arrange to meet tonight. Did I tell him that? I must have completely forgotten. Don't you remember sending this message? I didn't send this. You didn't? Strange. That's not a good sign. Well, I don't know. Emmerich's been acting strangely for months. It's probably just a misunderstanding. Mage sent that thing here to kill him. Why would anyone? Oh, Maker. The murders. Emmerich was right. He was getting too close. He suspected a man named Gascard Dupuis. Did he do this? I killed Gascard. Then who sent the creature? Whoever did this is a dangerous apostate that Meredith will want found. I will see to it personally. My guardsmen will find Alessa, the woman who was with Gascard. She might still be in danger. Thank you for your help in this matter. If you learn anything more, please come to me. Enchantment! No, Leandra. Leandra. Shouting won't make him understand you better, you know. There you are. Where's your mother? Is she feeling all right? I'm tempted to say she isn't. Just to see your reaction. Your mother didn't show up for our weekly visit. Is she ill? She is here, isn't she? No, Camlin. We haven't seen her all day. Where could she be? With her suitor, perhaps? Suitor? Leandra never mentioned a suitor. Well, those lilies arrived for her this morning. 
White lilies. I know something about that. Don't just leave me waiting. What is it? There's a killer in Kirkwall who sends his victims white lilies before he takes them. He's murdered several women already. No. You're wrong. Leandra is fine. It doesn't hurt to be optimistic. Maybe... Maybe Leandra took another path to my house. I could have just missed her. I'm going back to Lowtown. You should help Gamlin look for your mother. You might be able to track her more easily once night falls and the streets empty out. All right. The boy and I will stay here in case she returns. You've had luck on your travels? There's a letter for you. I told you already! I saw her! Did you see where she went? What do I get for telling you? Maybe you should talk to my fist. Why? Does it tore back? Enough. This is about your mother. You want something? Here. What about this? <gasps> That's real silver, that is! I'm your man, through and through. Tell you everything I know. That lady was here. She looked like she was going to take the bridge to Hightown. But then a man came up to her. He stumbled and fell over right at her feet like he was dead. His hands were all bloody, like he'd been in a fight. The lady shook him, and I think he said, help. She got him to his feet, and he was wobbly. Uh, it, it was funny. Anyway... They left, and that's all I saw. What did the man look like? He was a man. He had hair and a nose. And nice clothes. But they were all stained from the blood. <sighs> I never thought I'd curse my mother's kind-heartedness. You could be wrong about all of this. Maybe the flowers don't mean anything. The man left some blood. Where he fell over. You could follow it. Why don't you do what the boy says? I'm going to go home in case Leandra shows up. Never thought I'd say this, but Gamlin's right. My men can look for Leandra while we check the blood. Any lead helps. This blood is fresh. Can we and the there famous be words of follow. Morgan, no one can bleed that There's much another. and still be alive. Blood. I'm on the right path. Where is he taking her? There. I hope I'm not too late. You've been here before, haven't you? This is where you found the human remains all those years ago. We should have known there was something else here. Mother must be here somewhere. We need to look around. There. More blood. They are here somewhere. like someone
Mother's locket. This isn't a good sign. woman in the portrait looks like Leandra, doesn't she? A shrine dedicated to a wife? A sister? I need to find her. Now. I was wondering when you'd show up. Leandra was so sure you'd come for her. Mother always knew me best. Yes. And she spoke so fondly of you. What a lovely, gentle woman. You will never understand my purpose. Your mother was chosen because she was special. And now, she is part of something... greater. You're crazy. I get it. Where's my mother? I have done the impossible. I have touched the face of the Maker and lived. Do you know what the strongest force in the universe is? Love. I pieced her together from memory. I found her eyes, her skin, her delicate fingers. And, at last, her face. Oh, this beautiful face. I searched far and wide to find you again, beloved. And no force on this earth will part us. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mother! There's nothing I can do. His magic was keeping her alive. I knew you would come. You know me? I always save the day. Shh. Don't fret, darling. That man would have kept me trapped in here. Now, I'm free. I get to see Bethany again. And your father. But you'll be here alone. I'll be fine, Mother. My little girl has become so strong. I love you. You've always made me so proud. Did you find her? I'm sorry, Uncle. She's gone. You were right about the flowers and everything. I... I can't believe she's gone. You can say that over and over, but it won't change anything. <laughs> Why her? Why Leandra? The killer used Mother to magically reconstruct his dead wife. They had the same... face. What sort of nightmarish magic is that? Oh, Maker! Maybe the Templars are right. Lock the mages up. Throw away the key. Magic didn't kill Mother. A madman did. He could have just as easily killed her with a knife. You said she was used! This goes beyond just murder. It, it's desecration. I wish you'd never told me what that twisted son of a bitch did to her. I wish I hadn't asked. I hope you killed him. Good. I hope it hurt. Carver needs to be told. I'll send a message to the Grey Wardens and hope it reaches him. Take care, my dear. I... I feel I should say something. I know you're not good at... emotional stuff. At least your mother loved you. Not everyone can say that. I'm going to hold on to my memories of what she was. Not the thing Quentin made of her. And just think. You stopped him. Quentin's never going to hurt anyone again. I think no matter what, she'd be proud of you. it pretty late so Aveline wants to talk to me about the mother's death and I guess Barrett did the same thing I think this is a good enough spa uh, time as any to go ahead and end the stream 
just did a hard save there. And next time, we'll go see what um, our companions might want to say about Leandra. And then we'll see what other new quests come up. If you like this stream, be sure to go ahead and follow me here. Follow me on Twitch. Subscribe on YouTube. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I hope you all stay safe. And all of you have a good night.